Hello you guys, welcome back to another Sims 4 build challenge. So we all love a good build challenge, right? We all love an every room is a different blank build challenge, right? So I thought with the new platform update, let's do every room is a different platform height. The way that I'm going to do it is I'm going to be just going up a platform after every room that I build. So hopefully I'm strategic about it in the beginning. I don't really know how this is going to go. Probably going to be turning into a staircase house. I decided if that happens, then it's like just going to be a modern house, you know, hopefully that works out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I actually haven't touched the platform tool like since the update. I haven't tried it at all. So this may be a little bit of a trial and run for me. So if it's modern, then I'm just gonna start it like that. Oh wow, why am I doing this? I mean, uh, yeah, I'm gonna redo that. That is not, that. nope, that's not the entrance. They are beautiful, right? I don't know. <gasps> I definitely just saw someone walk. There is a ghost in my apartment. I've been watching too many true crimes. I'm getting jumpy. You know what? What if I make the house first and then build up the platforms from there? Because that might be easier. That might be way easier on me. And I think I'm being a little crazy, so. Do I know what I'm doing? I don't. I don't know what I'm doing. But it's okay because it's gonna be cute in the end. <laughs> I think I have to take that off though because there's no other way that they could get on. And this has to be the lower level. So I'm just randomly doing this. I'm sorry, I did not feel like doing a whole spin the wheel type deal. 11, wow. Well, now I feel like I need 11 rooms. This is so fun though. Like I'm freaking in love with platforms now. So what if this is the bedroom? So like the master, and then maybe this can be like area for the baby or something, you know, that'd be cute. And there's a ladder going down here so that you can get to the bathroom bathroom because obviously going down a ladder with a baby makes the most sense. It's coming together. Oh, I made this so, oh my God, I made this so big. Building like this is Sims 1, oh my God. <gasps> the lights are on the, oh my gosh. Do I need like a second level at this point? Three hours later. We figured it out. I just had to work my way around the whole platform thing. You can only have your sim go up or down a platform with one level. Like you can't, they can't go up two. And then you can only have a ladder on three levels, I believe. Okay, here, here's what we got. And as you see, she's working it out. Okay, so this is main level. Up one, down one, up three up two and up four. So it's like in a way that she can get to each and every one. So we're good, we figured it out, but we're ready to decorate. It's okay. Guess I should do the roofing. I didn't think this part through. This looks terrible. Mm -mm. I'm just being very extra right now. That looks way better. I mean, is this like the best that we're gonna come up with? Probably, I'm sorry. It's bad, it's real bad, but it's okay, right? Here it is, here's our beautiful house. Let's give ourselves a little fence for some privacy. Okay, here is our little area. I think it's cute, I love it. But the inside of the house is just gonna be like really weird. Okay, I just had to get my bangs out of my face because they're really annoying me, so. I never really know what to do in the entrance area. And I made this one really, really big. You know what? I want a little coffee corner right here. <gasps> yes. Okay, so like, I'm not sure if the modern is really happening right now, but I like what's happening, so we're just gonna keep going with it. 
All right. Oh my God. There's just like a huge blank wall. Oh, that's just so terrible to look at. Ugh. They have some like really fun new fireplaces. This one and this one and that one. I feel like this like, <gasps> nope. Okay. What else? Like we have the coffee corner. We have the place to put your shoes on. We have the tiny little fireplace. I don't really know what else to put here. And it definitely needs paintings. And probably more flowers for sure. We are getting somewhere. I think that's the best I can come up with for the little hallway area. And honestly, that's a shit ton of stuff. Let's do the bathroom. First of all, we are going to need a screen. We need to add a little bit of tile right here because obviously you wouldn't shower on wood. That's just unheard of. Oh my God, I freaking slapped at this. This is amazing. I want this bathroom. And then like, look, this curtain can go down so that you can take a bath and peace. Oh, I love this house. So now we are onto the kitchen. I don't even know what to do. Well, first I need to get some wallpaper in here. A hundred percent, yes. And then when you get in here, it will be something else. I just don't know yet. I have so much kitchen space. I feel like I'm just going to put a cupcake maker in here. They like making cupcakes. Why not, right? And this can be like a cupcake themed area. So like we can make it really cute. No worries. Okay. There's our cute little cupcake area. Absolutely needed in every single household. Why not? Let's put another fireplace here. This is going to be our lovely living room. Another one. So let's make this nice and cozy with that new packed stuff. Okay, we don't have room for that actually because I forgot that this is really high up on the ground. Little place to watch TV. Did my voice just crack like I was a little boy? Oh my God, I'm sorry. You know what? That's where they can do their art because I am running out of things to put in this freaking house. And we'll just put down some like really big mirrors. Oh my God, it doesn't fit. Ah, I can't do mirrors. I gotta move on. I'm running out of things to do, sadly. I'm gonna have to just keep going. Bye Felicia. No, <laughs> what just happened? I don't know if I'll be able to use that, but we are keeping that right there. We are not messing with it. You know what? They're getting a bar in their room because I'm stressed. I feel like they deserve it. You know, they live in a platform house. So they just kind of need that. First off, we put this cutest crib right in the middle because I love that. And I love this bed. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, I went ham on this. Oh, it's... It's gorgeous. And then up here, I forgot about this part. That's it. We have our platform house. I think it's actually really, really cute. I need to go ahead and save that right now before anything bad happens. Oh, of course, of course that's, yep. Okay, yeah, it's really cute. Let's do a little bit of a tour here. So here's the inside, you get to go over- Oh my god, you s literally see right into whoever's peeing, but that's unfortunate, but it's okay. So they didn't go up a platform, and you're in the bathroom. You got the little shower stall here, bathtub, I really like that. I did run out of time a little bit, my phone's about to die, so I don't really have much going on in the kitchen here. But we do have our little cupcake corner. And you can tell it's a cupcake corner. The roof is having like a struggle here. And then here is our little artsy corner. So you can like do your arts and crafts there. This is the little baby's room. Very cute. Apparently all the walls are white now. Here is the parents room. And then here is where you get to look and watch some TV on the big screen. It's almost like a movie theater in here. And then up here, is honestly my favorite part, the little area where you can eat. That is our platform house. It turned out really cute. I made it really unnecessarily big, but I think I successfully did it. I think I might change up the walls a little bit. Let's do that. Yes, this cute. Yes, perfect. 
And honestly, there's not much to do outside, but I put wood, so if you want to start a fire, you can go ahead and do that. <laughs> well, that's our platform build. Every room is a different height. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you like my content. And I hope you enjoyed the challenge altogether. Don't forget to comment if you have any suggestions on what I do videos, what I do on my channel. Have a great day. Bye.